what is up guys it is your chrome server with you guys another mario kart wii video this is probably gonna be the last mario kart wii video i do bring you guys in a long time um as you guys probably do see by the title of this video um which there's a lot of stuff i'm gonna be covering in this video just because i haven't uploaded a video like this um about this game in like over a month now so um, if you guys do want to tab out, that would be awesome if you guys just tab out, because there's not really going to be much happening on the screen. I'm not going to be battling in or, anyth or anything, because there's no battles on or anything right now. It's just pretty much just VS and dead-ass server right now, so, um, it's pretty late at night as well. Um, basically, in this video, I'm just going to talk about most things, um, that's been on my mind lately. Regarding this, regarding a lot of other things, regarding a few certain people, um... First, I'm just pretty much going to talk about, uh, basically, uh, it was, as you guys didn't know, I did take about a month break off to play Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, I did go back, I think I came back on, I think, December 18th or 19th, so pretty much exactly a month uh, I came back. Um, I kind of actually regret coming back, uh, pretty much. Um, that's why I'm probably going to be taking more time off, uh, or cutting back on my time way drastically. Um, as I'll talk about towards the end of this video, but, um, basically, came back, uh, not really too much happened, like, the first few weeks I came back, now, recently, there's a lot, been a lot of shit going on, um, if you guys don't know, there's a player called Doc Jun, basically, a few other players actually ended up getting him banned, just because, uh, he has bad Wi-Fi router and bad Wi-Fi signal, um, I actually ended up getting in contact with Doc, um, Basically, I tried asking him um, what was wrong with his Wi-Fi, what was wrong with that. He did not know. He would give me uh, bad responses. Ooh, and I don't know. Basically, the same few responses the whole time. Um, basically, that's all it was. Then I actually asked him. Um, he felt like that he actually was um, being singled out. That's what he actually told me. And um, I actually offered him to take him under my wing. And uh, since I'm the best player on this damn server, and I've been on here for the longest time ever, um, and probably the best player on this server, um, in the battle section at least, um, for VS Racing, I'm really not the best at all. But as for battle, I am probably the best battler on the server as of right now. Um, being the nice guy I am, I actually um, offered to take him under my wing, him and Vamp, basically. Um, I'm really not not like the best in reputation in the community as I guess I really don't know what I did to deserve like a bad reputation or anything um, but I don't know I, a lot of shit gets talked behind my, behind my back so um, shit and um so I being the nice guy I did I actually uh, offered to take him under my wing him and Doc um, or her and Doc I guess uh, I learned out that Doc is actually uh, pretty young um, Vamp is actually his sister, so I don't know. A lot of people wanted to, wanted to know about that as well. Um, I'll take him under my wing. We're actually going to pretty much actually form a team, uh, pretty much a alliance on this server once he got done with his band, which I think is like next week, Friday, his band is done. Don't quote me on that because I have no clue, but I'm assuming I think it's next week sometime. So I think it was like two weeks now, two and a half weeks already. That he actually was on ban, so, um, he should definitely be coming back here, I think, yeah, very soon, uh, basically, these last few weeks, that was actually the first, like, right when I came back from the, the vacay, or a little bit before that, I actually was talking to him and got in contact with him, uh, after that, basically, he just, um, kind of put me down, I actually offered, um, if, if he wanted my help or not, he kept giving me these answers, oh, I don't know, and oh, and yeah, and no, and all these pretty much just like blank answers, um, like generic answers that you like give, you like give K and like a lot of random shit, uh, I kind of got frustrated with him, basically I said if he doesn't want my help, he can take his shit and shove it up his ass, um, he doesn't deserve my help, and pretty much he wrote a nasty ass uh, comment back to me saying that I was, um, being an asshole, that I did not deserve him, basically, and he doesn't care if he gets banned, and he does not care that he is lagging out the server as long as he's on the server and actually gets to play. So, um, that's pretty much what I got from what he said to me, basically. So, um, 
pretty much whenever he's on, back on the server, I'm actually going to destroy him. So that's one of my New Year's revolutions, resolutions right there. Destroy Doc Chun, get him permanent banned, because he's on my bad side now. So I know there's been a lot of people actually been wondering a lot about that. Um, people think I'm friends with him. I'm not friends with him anymore. I tried getting on his good side just because we were kind of similar. Nobody likes him. Not many people like me on the server as of right now for some reason. So I kind of wanted to get on his side. Maybe we can form an alliance. Did not work out. So uh, I guess he's going to end up getting permabanned. Because once I go after him, he, there's not really not much time. He's going to be left on the server. Because I do have a lot of political pool on this server. Um, basically, that's all that was uh, recently. And then there's actually a battle tourney. Which... Um, happened I think last I think it was Sunday this week uh, I actually was on for a battle tournament it didn't even last long it pretty much lasted for like four or five battles and then everybody bailed for some reason um, another thing I would actually like to cover before I do end of this video um, this community is probably the most toxic community I've ever been in um, it continues to be the most toxic community um, there's no room for opportunity in this community I feel like I'm being actually uh, really shackled down with a lot of the players in this community as well. Um, it is not a healthy environment. Um, you go to the Pokemon community, which is probably one of the best communities in my opinion. Um, over there, the, you have people that are actually very nice to you. Um, you have them helping each other out. Here, you have none of that. Um, you have people that are generous in the Pokemon community. I'm just using that as an example because that's one of the other main games I actually do play. Um, as well, so um, this community is probably one of the most toxic communities ever. I just want to put that out there. Uh, I know I say that a lot, but it's pretty much true. Um, also, a lot of people have actually been knowing that I actually want to pretty much take over for a mod, a moderator for this server on the battle, um, for the battle section, just because there is no mod uh, for the battle section as of pretty much like forever the server's been up, pretty much. Um, either you have to run around and ask other mods to actually ban people. It takes over like, usually it takes more than like, I don't even know, uh, like a long time. Um, I really don't have like an estimate of time. Usually it takes more than a day to get hackers banned. Um, say there's like somebody in, out in worldwide battle using hacks, uh, even an appropriate nickname. Uh, there was actually an inappropriate nickname on last week when I was actually playing and there was a mod currently in another battle. Did not ban. And it was right in front of her face. So, um, if I had the opportunity to be a mod, I would actually make the server a lot better. Definitely m being a lot more better with the battle community part of this. I really don't want to care about the racing just because I really don't race or play VS on this server very much. It's only when there's like no battles and I have nothing really else to do, which is kind of rare. So, uh, not really for the VS part, but I would like to be a specific battle mod for the server. That's what I've really been pushing to try to get it and try to get for this. Um, right now we have one one mod that I've actually in, been in contact with, which really hasn't been professional. She has not been professional towards me as either. So um, basically we were on this actually an incident that actually did happen. Uh, she never did like me for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I'm not going to list names in this video either. But, uh, basically, I was actually on battle, I think it was last week, Thursday or Friday. I think it was one of those days I was on. Uh, I can't remember if I was on Friday or not. I think it was Thursday or Friday, one of those days. I'm not quite sure what it was. But, basically, she was in a battle, uh, in another battle. I ended up joining her battle, actually, in an attempt to actually get revenge. Um, and I was actually kind of pissed off. So, I went on the server to pretty much just vent. Basically, because I had to work all day in school and shit, work all night. Um, and got home from work, and I was like, fuck this, I'm going on defense. And, um, happened to be in battle. We did two matches. She leaves. The next match I actually go into, um, it's, the, she's not there. She leaves. I go into it exactly at a minute 30. I end up getting a DC. So, so you draw the lines there. You kind of know it's actually her that probably kicked me from the battle or DC'd me on purpose. So I go up to her, or I really don't go up to her, but I ask her in the chat, the Skype chat, I want an apology for what you did last week. What? What do you mean? What did I do to you last week? So that's pretty much, I guess it means war then, because um, basically I wanted a simple apology. I would have put it all behind us, uh, basically all the reason shit behind us. 
I asked her to actually be a mod as well. Uh, she pretty much gave me the turn down. She said she, she can't make people mods, that she's tried to make other people mods. She has somebody else in mind that would be able to take over my spot and be in front of me if she could make people mods. So I asked her to put her in contact with somebody that will actually do the job right and actually get in contact me um, to possibly be a mod. I never got nobody else that she even throw in contact with me to actually discuss becoming a mod for the server. So again, really unprofessional. Uh, I don't know really what else to say. If I'm forgetting something, I'll write. I'll throw it in the description, in the comments. I really don't give a fuck anymore. But um, as for the server, uh, this is actually one of the most toxic communities. I really, I guess, I really took like a pretty much a like a month break, uh, November to like December, uh, pretty much just November 20 to December 20, basically. Um, just gonna estimate it there. So um, just want to tell you guys that I'm actually going to be. Uh, pretty much stepping back on my hours on this game. Uh, you won't see me on the server anymore. I really don't think it's a good use of my time to be on here, especially when uh, the community is so damn toxic and pretty much uh, really nothing for me to do on here anymore, guys. There's really nothing for me to do on here. I've did it all. i pretty much at the point where um, I have other things IRL to deal with. I really have nothing to really do on here anymore. The only time I'm going to be on here is like very rarely when I have extra spare time where I just want to go on here I'm pissed off from work or something I'll go on here and go in the battles or VS to kick some ass and vent that's really the only time I'm going to be on here or than that you won't see me on the server very much anymore the only time I'm going to be on the server um not going to be doing any more battle tournaments not going to be doing that which I'll talk about here I guess um the only time you'll probably see me on the server I guess maybe like here and there and the only time you will see me on the server again full time is if I made a mod for battles on this server that's the only time I'll be coming back full time or in that I only be on here sporadically maybe like a few times a month now so no more like three times a week maybe only like five six seven times a month now so just want to let you guys know about that and the reason why I'm not doing any more battle tournaments basically the battle tournament on Sunday a lot of people from the other teams which I only faced two teams. I faced a team with two people, um, and I faced a team with other three people. And during that, the uh, time we faced the other three people, there was a person in the battle that kept getting DCs. And basically, there was a few rules. Um, there was a rule that you could not wall throw or some shit. And it, in the rules, it specifically said no wall throwing green and red shells. It did not say it did not wall throw bombs, bananas, anything else. And supposedly other people got mad at me because I was throwing bombs over walls and shit. Um, it was me. I would not even have rules for a battle tournament because I really don't know why there's rules. And they were saying that I was hitting up on respawn or some shit, um, which I was not. I actually was actually paying attention to see w when people actually would respawn and actually come out and get an item. Once they got an item, I actually would hit. So I was not doing that either. Um, and I definitely was held back by the rules a little bit as well, just because I'm used to playing with no rules and doing anything to win. Um, that's all I really want to say about that. I'm not going to be doing more battle tournaments. It's because it's the rules. It's going to be a shitload of rules. It's going to be complete bullshit. I really don't want to deal with it. Um, especially with people pretty much talking bad that I'm not going by the rules when I am and shit. So, I mean, I'm obeying the rules perfectly. So, um... There's also other rule too where you can't pick the same track multiple times, which I pretty much picked the same tracks, but I didn't pick, pick them on the same like turn. I picked out Fernal Pier and pretty much either Cookie Land or Twilight House every time. So I rotated between those. I know there's a few people saying that I was picking the same track as well, which is out of them. Pretty much they're out of their mind if they think I was doing that. But um, other than that, I pretty much really nothing else to say. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to be cutting down on my playtime on this server. I will be cutting back. Don't expect any more Mario Kart Wii videos on this channel. Um, recently, probably not even until like the summertime. I actually pretty much don't even know when I'm going to be going back full time. Maybe you guys will get lucky and I'll go back on here a lot more. But as of right now, I'm going to probably be cutting back for like, I don't know, a few times a month. Five, six, seven times a month, maybe. That's when I'm be coming back to. I got a lot of shit going on IRL um, as well being with work, school, I have a lot of other things I have to be um, concentrating time towards. Um, just don't have time for the game anymore. 
So, uh, yeah, it's going to be cutting back. Uh, anybody has a problem with anything I said in this video, then you can be taking a stroll down Benched Boulevard in the comment section if you see anything. So, uh, Benched Boulevard has, uh, I think, I'm not quite sure how many residents, I actually lost track how many residents are on Benched Boulevard now, but uh, that's a new place for all the haters that I think they can throw dirty shit at me and dirty comments. Uh, keep your opinions to yourself. That's all I have to say. Um, just want to get this out there. This video was not meant to hate on anybody. was not meant to be bullying to anybody. did not mean anything bad towards anybody. Uh, I just wanted to get my opinions out there and pretty much tell what was on my, what was on my mind, basically. So, um, just wanted to put that out there as, as a disclaimer. Um, but that, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. There will be actually be more different types of videos on the second channel. Uh, bringing in Happy Wheels and more reaction videos to the channel uh, here coming up soon. So, uh, stay tuned for that. See you guys on the next videos.